Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Russell with Hidden Springs Happenings here, uh, showing you a little modification I made to uh, my MT458 LS tractor. If you've got kids uh, like mine, they want to ride in this tractor, and the issue that I've had is there's not a great spot in the cab for them. They uh, get to sit on that cup holder and their uh, chance of kicking it out of gear. And so what I put together, we would sit a bucket here on the floor, something small that they could sit on, but I uh, took things to the next level and made a little jump seat. And so what I did, I'll show you inside here in a minute, but uh, long story short, this, um, this pops up and um, has just a, an articulating leg there and I uh, put a little rubber foot down there on the bottom, a little hinge, and then attached it up top. Uh, being from a, working in a cabinet shop, I had wood readily available. I grabbed this and attached it to to a hinge, and and it works great. Um, be able to just close that, and it uh, lifts up and sits right there. Using I I took the wood and pinched it on top of the little axle that I put in there and uh, then through the window you can see sorry my window's not very clean but you can see that leg just folds up and and is out of the way and so it doesn't restrict access in and out of the tractor at all uh, the other thing that I was that was a big deal to me was that I did not want to modify the tractor at all in case I didn't like this or in case I wanted to to sell the tractor, take it out, whatever. And so, as I showed you here, that rod, if I move the seat, that actually, you can see, that is just sitting inside of the door bracket. It does not attach at all, it just sits there. That rod comes across to the other side here and is welded onto this angle iron. That angle iron is, let me pop this out of here. So that angle iron is, um, I attached it using these factory bolts. So there's one there, and then there's, there's another one back here. And so onto this angle iron, I welded on a couple tabs that go in and uh, I didn't have to tap those or anything. Those were already there. And so they tuck back in behind everything. The spring here uh, clears that head just barely. And so if I were to want to take this out, I could do it in, oh, in no time. In fact, that's why I put it together was to try it. Next step is to, to take it out. This is going to get painted black along with the rod that goes through there. The seat, I'm going to sand it up real good. I actually paint it the gray color so it uh, matches. And then the leg back there, I'm going to paint that black as well. And so we've been using this quite a bit. Uh, my 11-year-old um, son likes to drive the tractor, and so uh, I, he jumped on the seat. I came in and, and actually sat on the jump seat. I weigh 200 pounds and uh, didn't have any issue at all with uh, putting my whole weight on this thing. So it's worked out good. It's serving the purpose. Uh, cosmetically, I uh, don't mind it at all. And uh, more, most importantly, my boys uh, and, and my daughter get to ride with me. Uh, I had my wife in here and all in all, it's just been a great thing. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys um, get a little creative and maybe put together something that uh, helps you with your tractor. Thanks so much. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a friend that might be creative as well. Thanks so much. Bye.